Hello and welcome to Unity Tutorials. So, this is how you can create your Microsoft Team account. The first thing you do is visit the link displaying on your screen right now. Then it takes you to this page where you see Office 365 Education. So, by the left side of the screen, if you're using your desktop, even if you're on mobile, you will see where it asks, uh, it, for, there's a space for you to provide your school email. So, here I am going to Put in my email demo at unisic.edu.ng. Okay, then I'll click on get started. So once you're done clicking on this button, you allow it to load, then brings out the next page where it asks which are you? Are you a student or are you a teacher? So based on your criteria, if this tutorial is new work for your students, you click on a student. There's another tutorial for students, but this tutorial is for staff as the teacher's part. So I'm going to click on this. I am a teacher. Then once you have this page, you are expected to fill out the information that you have here, which is provide details for this form, and you can now proceed. So I'll do that. So in the provision of the password, you expect it to put a password that is strong enough. It must have a, a caps lock, which is a capital letter, and contain a number for it to be secure. So otherwise, you will get an error. Let me put in something like uh, something that is below the requirement. You will see it will give me an error. Say use 8 to 256 characters. It must include uh, a lowercase an uppercase number or any symbol so you have to mix it in order to have uh, the best secure password you have so I'm going to do an uppercase and uh, I'm going to do this so right now it will not give me an error because I have everything inside so I'll repeat the password which I had put uh, in, the, in the top part here to confirm that I'm not making a mistake now, in this part, I'm expected to go to my email, that is the staff email or that you're logged in with, which has, uh, in this case is demo at unisic.in.ng. So, I'm expected to go to the email and check a verification code which has been sent to me by Microsoft. So, let me do that. So, right now, this is my email that I used. So, I once I click on this email from Office 365, I should see the code which says 422, uh, 4299.62. 429962. I can choose to highlight this and copy it or memorize it. So I'll go back to my application, which is this uh, form I'm filling currently. So I paste the code and you leave this as it is because it will automatically detect that you're in Nigeria. So if you would like to get um, a further information from Microsoft on stuff, you could read through and select. You click on it when it, it will give you an information about Microsoft later, but you can ignore. Click on start. So give it a minute for it to create the account. Then, once it's done, it will proceed to another page. So it's now setting up your account, creating the profile. So give it a minute to walk around. So once it's done with that, you get this screen that says save time by teaching with. So you could just ignore that and or click on this. Say okay. So now you are signed up to Microsoft Team. So currently I'm in Office 365. Here is Microsoft Team. When I click on this, I should get another window that says Microsoft Team. Okay. Give it some time to load. Okay, so once you're done, you get this notification suggesting that you get an app. So, but if you already have an app, that means after signing up, you proceed to the app to log in, which is Microsoft Teams app. So, you can refer to the other video uh, to see how to download and install Microsoft Teams on your computer. So um, this is now Microsoft Team. So I am in the dashboard right now. I can see if I click on Team, it will display the teams I'm on. 
so uh, it says let's do it okay fine you could click on this it will show you how just a walkthrough this is a tutorial tip show you how you're going to use it but if not you follow this tutorial just close it out and here i have this you might not see any of this but when you've been added to a class by your ict officers you will see the classes which you or the teams you belong to here so which is once you're done with this step the next thing you do is to proceed to your ict officer and provide your email saying that you already registered with microsoft teams thank you for watching this video if you have any issue send your report or send your email or comments at support at support at just like it's on your screen thank you very much and have a great day